the Declaration of Independence is broad enough to include the whole human family. Yet it is argued that the authors of that instrument did not intend to include Negroes. In those days, our Declaration of Independence was held sacred by all and thought to include all. But now, to aid in making the bondage of the Negro universal and eternal, it is assailed and sneered at and construed and hawked at and torn until if its framers could rise from their graves, they could not at all recognize it. All the powers of earth seem rapidly combining against him. Mammon is after him. Ambition follows and philosophy follows and the theology of the day is fast joining the cry, they have him. They have him in his prison house. They have searched his person and left no prying instrument with him. One after another, they have closed the heavy iron doors upon him. And now they have him bolted in with a lock of a hundred keys, which can never be unlocked without the concurrence of every key. The keys in the hands of a hundred different men and they scatter to a hundred different and distant places. Now they stand musing as to what invention in all the dominions of mind and matter can be produced to make the impossibility of his escape more complete than it is. Thank you.
silent warriors bonding their blood to the seeds of our nation, to the roots of our soil. Salute these mighty heroes. Those hundred keys now rusted and stained. Those heavy iron doors whose locks have been broken away. These were silent warriors who struggled through oppression, who fought and died for the American idea of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. All those great warriors who held on to the dream that someday, in some way, our Declaration of Independence will be held sacred by all.